Coming up in your seven day forecast. OK, Jen, and we want to mention the heat could have a big impact on the first week of school. Classes start for San Diego Unified students tomorrow, but the district is already considering considering at this point minimum days for schools that don't have air conditioning in most classrooms. The district says it has implemented its hot weather plan and principals will notify parents if minimum day schedules are needed. We have a link to more information. If that happens, the link is on San Diego Unified's hot weather plans at 10 news com. All you'll need to do is click on the red TV button. New today. Our streets. Our streets. Our streets. Hundreds stormed the streets to combat hate. It comes as swastikas surface and racist groups emerge in other parts of the country. 10 News reporter Hannah Mullins live at Horton Plaza where it all came to a very passionate end. Hannah. And it started at Balboa Park. So many people showed up. They filled the entire street. It was more than a mile before ending right here with a rally. That's a poop emoji. It says dump Trump. Dump him in the garbage. Giselle Sassinia is only eight, so she wasn't sure why she was there. Well, I don't know. Jamie Lewis went to the San Diego rally against hate to learn, too. The Grossmont College students showed up at the march from Balboa Park to Horton Plaza to write a paper on stereotypes. When you're a kid, you know, you just want to be a kid. But growing up in the South, he had to live in fear. Just walking down the road and you see a vehicle, you've got to jump in the bush to hide because you don't know who's driving that vehicle and what's going to happen. He says it was black and white, there was no in between, and dark skin had adults hurting small children. Little boy and all this different things. Watch the, them slap little kids my age, just slap them down. Take a closer look and you see his blue eyes. I'm all mixed. I'm African American and I'm American Indian. I'm also part Caucasian. Over the years, Lewis says racism largely lost its voice in America. It's more silent now. You know, it's more by facial expressions. If I say good morning to you, I would love to hear you say good morning back. He didn't stop him from joining the Marine Corps and serving his well, country. The thing about it is, it's not how they treat you, it's what you're protecting. But he didn't pledge to protect violence and hate. It, it scares you. And these are the colors he cares about. So he was glad to see thousands fighting it in the streets. If, if we can just stop the hatred, then, I mean, just think about what this country really could be. Well, I just talk to them the same way how I talk to white people. They're the same as us, just different colors. Hannah Mullins, 10 News. Meantime, President Trump kicked off his day on Twitter, tweeting about everything from the storm to books to the infamous border wall to the economy. Trump is receiving criticism for his decision to pardon a controversial Arizona sheriff. On Hurricane Harvey, Trump touting the federal response, saying we have an all-out effort going and going well. Uh, the most important thing was that I made a disaster declaration that the president granted very swiftly. This is somebody that constantly has talked about healing, 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 but almost every single one of his actions as president has been the exact opposite. The White House says Mr. Trump will travel to Texas on Tuesday. Now to a crime alert in the South Bay. A couple finds a strange man showering in their home. 10 News reporter Matt Boone live in Chula Vista and Matt Police say this isn't the first time this guy's been there. Yeah, outside the home, you can see one of these, a for sale sign, which police say can be a magnet for burglars and squatters. And that's exactly what happened. This man actually admitted to police. He's been here three times before. We've got video from earlier when police arrived on scene. They came into the house. Apparently, he was still in there, unaware they were on their way. They took him into custody around 1030 this morning. The owners say they came to the property, but when they entered, they noticed a few things out of place. The air conditioner was on and some doors were closed that were usually left open. They then heard the shower on and realized someone was inside. When police arrived, they said they also found burglary tools, a meth pipe, and beers. They say he'd broken in through a screen door to get inside. There were other items inside the house that police say didn't belong to the suspect or the homeowners. The sign there may have been other intruders. I spoke to some neighbors who say squatters have been a problem in the neighborhood, but another man we interviewed said he was surprised. Generally very quiet. It's mostly made up of, I would say, elementary school kids and people who are retired. For somebody to feel that comfortable just to walk into so someone's house and start using their shower in the facilities, yeah, it would make me very uncomfortable. 
Definitely a weird situation. The homeowners say the house is currently in escrow. As for that suspect, he was taken into custody, and police say he was already on probation for several other offenses. Reporting live in Chula Vista, Matt Boone, 10 News. All right, Matt, thanks so much. New video tonight, protesters in handcuffs as violence breaks out at a massive rally in Berkeley. We're monitoring the tense situation right now. And a rare experience for San Diego cyclists getting to ride across the Coronado Bridge. Beautiful, what keeps riders coming back year after year. We are in a breaking weather alert to keep you safe during this dangerous heat wave. I'm tracking record breaking temperatures coming up in your seven day forecast. Right now we are in a 10 news breaking weather alert for dangerous heat hitting San Diego. You can get the latest details on excessive heat warnings and up to date forecast at 10 news.com and on the free 10 news mobile app. Tensions very high at a rally at Berkeley's Martin Luther King Jr. Civic Center Park today. Violence erupted between protesters and counter demonstrators. Police had to drag one person to safety, but you can see just how many people were there. They calculated about 4,000 people uh, showed up there and were arrested. Ten were arrested, I should say. Police say the crowds have since diminished. They sent out warnings that anyone still in the park should leave immediately. Today, hundreds of people gathered to remember the nine Marine Corps aviators killed when a military plane crashed in Mississippi. Sergeant Chad Elliott Jensen was one of 16 troops killed in the crash on July 10th. The group was training for an upcoming deployment. They were headed to Naval Air Facility El Centro when the plane went down. Our hearts are heavy with sadness and a sense of loss. We are incomplete. We are filled with memories of duty and friendship. Jensen was from Redondo Beach. He was buried at Miramar National Cemetery. The cause of the crash is still under investigation. Thousands of San Diegans woke up early for an opportunity that only comes once a year, biking on the iconic Coronado Bridge. 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo was at the event all morning and tells us how the ride is for a good cause. Five, four, three, two, one, and you're off the bike again. It's a bike ride with a view unlike any other. The view of the bay, all the boats, and the Coronado, and there's definitely a view up there. One of the best views in the city, the Coronado Bay Bridge. For just a few hours, one day a year, cyclists get to ride across the bridge. That's probably the best part of the ride. Is going over the bridge and looking at stuff and getting on the other side, but that's probably what a lot of people are out here for just to do that. It's called Bike the Bay, a 25 mile bike ride through five cities. Cyclists showed up early to register and grab their numbers. Steve Walsh has participated for several years. Oh, well, it's just a great get together. We've been doing it for a couple of years now. Proceeds from the event benefit the San Diego County Bike Coalition. The organization advocates for creating more bike routes throughout the county. They also work to educate people about sharing the road with cyclists. Uh, just be on the lookout, just really look out for them. And even though it was foggy, the cyclists say the view is still worth it. What's well, exciting? I mean, how often do you get to go across a bridge, even walk across a bridge and the Coronado Bridge? Reporting from the Embarcadero, Laura Acevedo, 10 News. Weather Raid certified San Diego's most accurate forecast. This is a 10 News breaking weather alert. Jennifer De La Cruz tracking that weather, and yeah, it's a good thing that ride was early this morning. Yep, certainly earlier yeah. in the morning. It's nice <laughs> and cool, but during the afternoon, it's certainly going to be heating up as we start your week. It was really nice and sunny this weekend, but temperatures are only going to begin to climb. We are in a 10 news breaking weather alert to keep you safe out of this dangerous heat wave that we're already in for most of the county. It will be hottest for our valleys, our mountains and our deserts. Temperatures will be the hottest between Monday and Wednesday. They'll be ranging anywhere from 5 to 15 degrees above average. Taking you live outside right now in La Jolla. It's not too bad, a little bit overcast. We did see some sunshine earlier today. We're going to start to see more cloud coverage moving in and a possibility of some fog also after 11 o'clock tonight. Right now on the coast, 77 degrees, 90 degrees for your mountains, still pretty warm inland at 92 and 113 degrees for our deserts. Tomorrow, our temperatures are going to start to go up. We're really going to feel the heat moving in on the coast. We will see a high of 86 degrees, 100 degrees in our inland valleys, 94 in our mountains and 113 
in our deserts. This heat wave is moving in because we have high pressure that's building near the Four Corners area. So that's what's bringing in a whole lot more sunshine. Our temperatures are going way up. We could also see some of this monsoonal moisture moving in from the east. We do have a chance, about 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms on Monday for our mountain community. So that's also going to make it feel very humid in addition to excessively hot. We have the possibility of breaking some new records during this heat wave. We could tie a record in Escondido and El Cajon for tomorrow with highs of 102 degrees. Ramona could break a record tomorrow with a high of 107. And on Tuesday, we could see a high record of 91 degrees in San Diego, 95 in Chula Vista, and 108 degrees in Ramona by Tuesday. Your three day temperature trend is on the way up. We're averaging in the low 80s for tomorrow, but we're going to be up in the upper 80s, near 90 degrees on the coast over the next three days, averaging near 93 degrees tomorrow.